welcome to the Sound Off Network, where we put the T in teacher. I'm Mrs. Phelps. And I'm Mrs. Ronnie. And class is now in session. Let's talk about it. The rumors are apparently true, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Samuels, self-proclaimed relationship guru, has passed away of cardiac arrest. And it also has been said that he was with a young lady who did confirm that it was in fact true that he died. Yes. So we got this picture of the young lady that he was with. Um, it looks like this is from her Instagram page and her name looks to be Hortensia Alcantara. I think I said that correctly. Um, the irony though that another thing that has been pointed out in the court of public opinion is that in this photo she is actually wearing a Mexican sombrero and when this happened it was on Cinco de Mayo so that is a lot of irony in this story as well Um, another thing that we know about Hortensia is that she is a nurse she's 32 years old and that she had just met Kevin the night before so those are the only details that we do know about her and this was the young lady that he Um, spent the night with and told her that he was having chest pains and then fell over on top of her. Those are the details that we have so far. Uh, Kevin Samuels made a career of giving women quote unquote advice on what they need to do as far as getting a man, the types of women that are able to get a certain kind of man. And that's pretty much how he built his empire doing that. And the irony of the idea that he died on top of a woman who he had just met the night before. Uh, A lot of people are saying that, you know, the very thing that he warned women not to do when it comes to dating, that's the type of woman that he was with when he passed away. Right, and didn't he just make that statement not too long ago that that woman was a leftover woman? Yes, that was his most controversial one, the most recent controversial statement that he made that women over 35 are considered leftover women. Yeah, so now that he has died, what are modern women really saying and how do they feel about his passing? Well, we have been in these comments today. Though we never want to celebrate the death of anybody, you have to just be careful how you treat people. I mean, a lot of times people think so much about social media and just trying to have this social media presence and being like this social media star. But you also have to think about like what type of legacy you want to leave behind. It just doesn't look too good for Kevin Samuels and the type of legacy that he left. Let's take a look at some of these uh, comments. I have one here that from o- official Kelly Anthony who said, in life, you just got to be a good person. Shaking my head. May his soul receive a fair judgment. What are some other things that have been said? One lady says, that poor lady, that must have been traumatic for her. There's other people that are feeling sympathy for his mother. That's a tragic way to learn about her son. We got to admit, though, that a lot of the comments have been really negative. Here's one here. Tricked on a girl back to the house on the first night. Definitely not the image he was portraying on his platform. Too funny. That's why I said you truly don't know people and need to move and live your life as you see fit rest in peace if he out of here though and i think that comment was left before it was actually confirmed that he passed away someone said red bull and viagra is not a combo you want to play with yeah i did hear that a lot of times on his videos he's always drinking a lot of red bulls I drink a lot of Red Bulls too, so that made me nervous. But yeah, they said that he he um, downs them a lot. Now I don't know too much about the Viagra, Viagra, and I saw something about Cialis mixing it up. I don't know anything about that. But someone said, did he ever speak on women meeting a man and going home with them the same night? I find this rather interesting considering all he's had to say about women in the past. Yeah, a lot of people are commenting on the fact that this seems to be like a one night stand. He had just met the woman um, on May the 4th and then died in her apartment the next night after spending the night. They revealed her birth date and she was born in 1990, so she was a woman in her 30s. Mm, that's another little interesting fact because um, it's considering the fact that he talks about women in their 30s so much and mm-hmm. being left over after 35. Someone else says, uh, I mean, he literally died alone, unmarried from a heart attack. 
the same way he said Big Bertha and Big Shirley would. I mean, that's why you really have to watch the legacy that you're gonna leave. A lot of people put so much time and effort into trying to just be this social media celebrity, and he did that. I mean, a lot of people knew Kevin Samuels. He was a household name, but I mean, people weren't necessarily talking about him in a good light. I noticed even on his page, he would turn off his comments a lot of times. When he would do lives, all of his comments would be turned off because he knew what people were saying. Some people even feel like that this is even fishy this even happened to mm -hmm. him with a woman right so i'm, I'm kind of interested to, uh, interested to hear more details when they come out yeah some people are wondering if there was foul play yeah that took place in this absolutely one user said his legacy was toxic bullying and dysfunction towards black women and hope he enjoys how value heaven if he's allowed to enter karma is something yeah. So a lot of women think that this is karma. You know? I mean, just the idea that he died on top of a woman. I mean. It's crazy. It sounds like something crazy? out of a movie. It sounds like something out of a movie. The color purple to be <laughs> specific. How did he die? On, on top, top of, of me. me. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. We definitely don't want to uh, make light of this. However, we did just kind of want to highlight the type of legacy that he did leave. And these are the types of things people will say about you if you live your life in that type of light. So for today, our lessons are actually going to come from some of the comments that we saw today. Yeah. From Miss J to you. Live how you want to be remembered. That's mm. going to be our lesson number one. Lesson number two, make sure you treat God's people well. You never know your day. Absolutely. And from Yummylicious underscore 92, life's too short, just love. Rest in paradise. So, with that being said, guys, we share your comments. What do you think about this? And what do you think about his legacy that he left behind? Like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel.